Hey everybody, April from Left Hook Creations. I'm going to do another experiment today. Um, just because I feel like it. So I love to try new things. Um, and obviously I try a lot of stuff that I see other people do. Um, but today I thought why not try just poking some random holes in a little cup and using it like a strainer and see what happens. So I have this cup that I just put two holes on this side and two holes on this side. And the thought is if I put it down, paint should come out just in those four little spots instead of having like a strainer would where it would be the paint would come out in a circle. So <laughs> we'll see if it works. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's get started with that. I have here a 14 by 14 inch canvas and I made sure it's level so it's good to go. Um, and I have some interesting colors to use. Uh, I got my white and my black, obviously. Those are the, the huge. Um, I have this beautiful um, ultramarine, ultramarine blue is one of my favorites. Um, I have a color that I made myself and I've only got a little bit left so hopefully I won't use all, like I'll have enough to use. But this is like a burnt sienna kind of color. It's mostly chocolate brown with like a red tint to it. And then I just mixed up some of this champagne gold, I want to say it is. Let's see. It's, yeah, champagne gold by Deco Art. So I just mixed some of that. Um, and I don't have any silicone in any of my paints. I'm trying to decide if this is too thick or not. I might add a little. Eh, maybe it's all right. That should work. So I'm excited about what this is going to look like, especially next to like this blue. Mm, can't wait. And then of course my gloves because I went so long without having gloves and now I actually have gloves. So now I just have to figure out like how I want to layer this paint. Um, I don't think I want to do a dirty pour. I think I'm going to pour each color in directly into the cup separately. So let's start with, let's start with some black. I just mixed this up too. Now here's the question is, is, is it gonna come out this size? <laughs> we'll see. All right. Okay, okay, it's coming out. Sorry for my dome being right in the way. Oh. See, I had this sitting upside down so that I could <laughs> get the most out of that bottle. And of course it exploded on me. So I think I'm gonna do some of this. So far, this is interesting. Very, very interesting. And I want to do kind of a lot of this blue. Oh, I like it so far. That gold is already creating cells. Whoops. <clears throat> oh, what order did I do this in? 
blue, right? Well, we're doing blue, how about that? Black. And if I think if I start moving a little faster, this might even start coming out a little bit more. What I might do. Let's get this a little bit of a buffer. Just trying to avoid this rolling over itself too much because I want to keep um, all of this really. I'm glad I did this four holes. It probably could have done a couple, like maybe one in between, so three on this side and three on this side. That probably would have been cool. <laughs> and this is, I don't even know what's happening there. I'm half tempted to put this on my spinner, but I'm like a little bit afraid to use my spinner. <laughs> uh, I think we'll just tilt it and see how it goes. it out. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Because I'm paranoid, I'm just going to put a little bit of extra it move across the canvas. So this is way more than enough paint, but I like this design so much I don't want to lose it. Especially the part that has the burnt sienna color in there where the middle you can tell that's where I ran out of that color. This is the hardest part for me is actually like taking my time um, and looking at the composition of it. 
because I just want to I just want to get in there and tilt the crap out of it. <laughs> Um, trying to, I don't want to lose any of this color on the corners though, because it's all that beautiful brown color mixed with the champagne gold, and I just like love it. Like I, I kind of want to, kind of want to come this way, just a little. Do I? Yes. I feel like there's still too much paint on this canvas. It is going to be very sparkly when it's dry, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> well, I got my edges pretty good, so that's nice. Um, don't have too much to touch up here. What do you think? Yay? Nay? I like it. It's kind of like a funky flower. I dig it. So I definitely want to try this again with a cup that has maybe some different patterns of holes in the sides. Um, and I might make the holes just a smidge bigger so that it comes out a little bit easier. But otherwise, I'd say this was um, kind of a success. I think it worked out fairly well. <clears throat> All right, so let's bring you down for a close-up. Okay. So this is the color combination that is my favorite part of this, is that brown and the champagne gold. Um, cause it made this like pinkish color that I'm loving. Cause here's the champagne gold by itself, just next to the white and the blue, which is pretty, but man, um, I'm really digging this spot. I don't know why, but I really love that. And some of these cells are so nice and like they've got depth to them because they're so complicated looking and just you can see the, it almost looks like cracks in a stone or something like that. Here's my center where I pulled the cup off. That is looking pretty cool. And there seems to be, I wonder if more cells will develop as it goes probably. Especially since a couple of these paints I just mixed up so they probably had a good amount of air in there. My other corner. And sorry for the glare. So there's the finished piece. Let me know what you guys think. It's beautiful. Hopefully it dries good. We'll see. Oh, look at this is doing some other stuff over here. <laughs> I love it. This is going to be really fun to check back on every once in a while um, to see what happens because clearly it's going to keep moving a little bit and cells are going to keep developing and like, like stuff's just going to keep popping up like these crazy little ones here. So this should be a good one. Maybe in my next video, I will um, show a picture of this one uh, dry. And we'll see. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Until next time.